Humans are complex and cunning creatures who sometimes help and love each other, and sometimes kill each other. In 2048, the world is fighting over food and minerals, from local conflicts to wars, overpopulation, depleted natural resources, the condition of the earth is already very bad and there will be less and less food for humans to eat. In other words, time is running out for everyone. But the good news is, there is a little hope for humanity. In recent years, thanks to the development of technology, humans have circled around and we have found a new habitable planet. This is a moon orbiting Saturn. This planet is called Titan, and is the only planet in our solar system that has air in the same primitive ecosystem as life on Earth. But there are some things that are difficult for humans to adapt to on Titan, one of which is the extremely cold temperature. The second is that although there is air on Titan, only 20% of that air is oxygen and the rest is nitrogen. In other words, if a human wanted to breathe air directly through their nose, they would basically suffocate in a matter of minutes. As for water, there are many lakes on Titan, so there's plenty of water at your disposal, but it has a strange composition. The water contains a lot of liquid methane. Although these three points seem very difficult to overcome, Titan is currently the closest environment to Earth in the universe. If humans want to emigrate, there are really only two possibilities. The first is to change the environment on Titan to look like Earth, but such a larger project would be time-consuming and costly. And as a result, the only option left for humans at the moment is the relatively simple second option. That is to forcibly modify humans through surgery and genetic experiments to enhance their physical capabilities so that they can fully adapt to the extreme conditions on Titan. The Human Transformation Project is led by Professor Martin, who has spent his life studying the human body to explore its mysteries, and he is confident that he can successfully create humans in a few weeks with the help of substantial funding from the state. It is very complicated to evolve humans into creatures that can withstand cold and breathe nitrogen and are immune to methane. But Professor Martin only needed a short time. The experimental subjects were modified at various biological levels. The human body is inherently difficult to carry out these experiments, so the military, on Professor Martin's advice, selected soldiers to accept the experiments. As a physically and mentally healthy Air Force lieutenant, Lieutenant Rick was invited by the military to be one of the subjects of this project. Under Professor Martin's guidance, he moved with his wife and son to a large villa on the military base. It was well equipped with facilities, so the subject families could carry out their daily routines without any problems. This not only made it easier for Rick to undergo the experiments on the base, but also made it more convenient for him to see his family and be with each other at all times. It was a comfortable life, their lives were always fulfilled. But as time went by, Rick's body completely mutated after injecting some anesthetic, and now he can actually hold his breath underwater for 40 minutes swimming quickly. But such an extreme body transformation, not everyone can withstand it. During the experiment, some soldiers died on the spot, scaring the other subjects at the base. But although the others faltered and went limp, Rick did not falter as he clearly realized that humanity's days on Earth were numbered. If he couldn't act as one of the first subjects to immigrate to Titan, then his son would definitely have no future. It was the thought of that that filled him with a fighting spirit, and made him continue to persevere, no matter what. He knew that there wasn't much light on Titan and it was dark all year round. To adapt to the environment there, Professor Martin needed to perform a second stage of surgery on Rick to modify his eyeballs and dilate his pupils, so that he could have cat-like eyes and see more clearly in the dark. However, the surgery did not seem to be done properly. After the surgery, Rick couldn't sleep all night due to the pain, and his eyes were bleeding, which made his wife at home feel sad. His wife rushed to call the military doctor on the base to save him. She was not allowed to see it up close as the operation was kept secret. She had to return home to sit and wait for the results. Once home, she witnessed something else that was even more heartbreaking. The base covered hundreds of acres, with small and large villas towering everywhere, and the people living in them were basically the families of research subjects like his wife. Next to Rick's family is Corporal Zane's family. But now Corporal Zane next door has become extremely violent after surviving the stage 2 experiment, even pushing his wife to death. When she saw this, the troops at the base stormed into Zane's house, heavily armed, and killed him. The wife's feelings were mixed when she saw her neighbor, who was laughing and talking yesterday, die today. His wife's emotions were mixed for a while. To find out what the military had done to her husband, she nimbly took the access card Rick had left at home and entered Professor Rick's office to see what was going on. The drugs were extracted from the bodies of bats dolphins and other animals. They would force some human DNA to be altered so that humans would become animal-like in certain biological characteristics. Despite his wife's anger at the outrageous information in front of her, she thought carefully. 
But now that she was halfway through the experiment, there was no turning back. While this procedure was performed, a large amount of toxin had to be injected into the subject's body. The subjects were then mutated several times for their molting process, but it was clear that such a radical transformation was extremely damaging to the subject's bodies, and basically all the soldiers died horribly on the operating table, and only one man and one woman remained to become full-fledged titans. Apparently, that man was Rick and that woman was Tally, and now they were the only hope for human immigration into space. The authorities were ready to hurry up and send the two to live on Titan for a period of time to collect data as soon as possible. Before leaving Earth, Professor Martin allowed the subjects to return home to stay for a few days and bid a proper farewell to their families. Only at first glance did Rick, his wife and son feel terrified, unable to believe that the half-human monster in front of them was their own family. And the most difficult for his wife to accept is, at this time, to adapt to the environment on Titan. The evolved Rick has also lost his vocal cords and cannot speak, and he can now only communicate with his own kind through low-frequency sound and his sense of touch. His wife was so angry that she came home to pack up her things with tears in her eyes, but at that moment there was a sudden noise in the house. The wife took a good look and realized that it was Tally who broke in and this changed woman came with the clear intention that she was here to meet Rick. But as the two of them faced each other and held hands, it seemed that they were communicating. Suddenly a group of soldiers stormed into the house. It turned out that after several transformations, Tally had just killed her own husband in the villa, and that's why she came running to seek refuge in Rick. Even the soldiers armed with anesthesia needles also had no intention of killing her. But since the anesthetic didn't work and she kept killing the soldiers, the soldiers had to shoot her to finish her off. When he saw the only one of his kind being killed, the Comric went berserk, and after finishing off most of the soldiers, he quickly escaped from the military's pursuit. But then he was recaptured and brought to the base, and because Rick's body had been modified, he couldn't stay any longer on Earth. If he continued to stay on Earth, he would surely die sooner or later, and Professor Martin hoped that Rick's wife could approach him and take the opportunity to give him an injection that would erase all of Rick's memories. To keep Rick alive, his wife had no choice but to take the syringe and enter the cage to inject Rick. Professor Martin thought that the next step in his plan would be perfect, but Rick suddenly killed one of the soldiers again and got out of the cage. It turned out that his wife had changed the anesthetic because she didn't want Rick to lose the memory of his family. Professor Martin was upset by Rick's wife's actions and wanted to order the surrounding soldiers to kill Rick's family. But the military squad leader said that shooting unarmed children and women was a disgrace to the army. So he refused to carry out the order. The project was then taken over by Rick's wife, who is also a doctor, and decided that she would not erase Rick's memory. This way, though, Rick would still be sent to Titan. At least his memory still existed and she could still utilize Rick to return to Earth to deliver samples. At the end of the movie, Rick is seen on Titan and is exploring the place. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe. Because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. What movie do you want next? Just comment below. Have a nice day.